Without any fanfare whatsoever, Google has just made a major upgrade to Data Studio. That, in my opinion, is a real game changer when it comes to comparing it with other more recognized and respected BI tools. In this video, I'll tell you all about it. Hello and welcome to Learn BI Online with me, Adam Finer, helping you to do more with data. So as I said, this new upgrade represents a major improvement to Data Studio and adds functionality that was sorely missing. In fact, it was one of the only reasons why I might not have recommended Data Studio over other tools. I'm talking about blending data. What those of you familiar with SQL and relational databases would call joining data. Now, if you're not someone who knows much about or who's ever really worked with BI tools, what I'm about to tell you probably won't make much sense. But trust me when I say that this is a significant development as far as Data Studio is concerned. So what has changed? Well, until the update was released last week, if you wanted to join data together from different sources in Data Studio, you were severely limited in what you could do. And there were two main reasons for this. Firstly, Data Studio only allowed you to blend data using one of the five different join types, the left outer join. So no inner, right outer, full outer or cross joins were allowed. Secondly, before the upgrade, if you wanted to include more than two tables in the blended data source, all of the tables would need to include the same joining key or condition. Now with the new update, this is no longer the case and different joining conditions can be specified for different pairs of tables. For users of other BI tools like Tableau and Power BI, all of this will probably sound like pretty basic stuff that you would take for granted. Fair enough, but neither of those two tools I just mentioned is free to use like Data Studio is. Because Data Studio is free to use, I've always found it hard to complain about certain missing features that would be nice to have, or ones that you just expect to see in other paid tools. But when you consider that business intelligence is all about bringing together and blending data from different sources in order to analyze them together, only having one join type and limited joining conditions didn't make Data Studio a very serious option for those who had anywhere near approaching serious data blending requirements. In fact, it simply wasn't an option at all. But now this has all changed. By adding this essential missing piece of the jigsaw, Google has made Data Studio a much more serious contender as a BI tool of choice, even more so when you combine this update with all the other incremental improvements that Google has been releasing over the past few months. Okay, so there are definitely other areas where Data Studio can improve, but this was by far the most important one for me. To be honest, I'm always amazed that Google doesn't promote Data Studio more especially when it comes to something as big as this. Okay, so let me take you through a quick demo of this new data blending functionality in Data Studio using the example that Google gives in this article that I'll link to in the description. Here we are in the report builder and I have three separate Google Sheets data sources set up for classes, students and grades. You can see the contents of these sources in these three table widgets. The idea is to blend these three data sources so that I can create a new table that contains the class name, student name and grade, essentially replacing the identifiers we can see in this grades table. So starting with this table, I hit blend and we're taken to the data blending options. I add the class table and then configure the join. Here we're going to need a left outer join and Data Studio has already recognized two fields with the same name across the join and added them. But we have the option to modify this and add more join conditions if necessary. I then add the class name dimension to be included in the blend result. Next I want to add a third table, students, to the blend. So again I'll configure the join as left outer and save then add the class name dimension to the blend result. Back in the report builder, we can now see that the table we initially selected is using the blended data. All I need to do to create our desired table is to replace the class and student IDs with the name fields. So in this example, we just used two left outer joins, but you could see that all join types were available to choose from. 
So that's how simple it is to blend data in Data Studio. Very easy to understand and use. So there is just one limitation to blended data sources that I need to mention, and that is that you can only include up to five tables in a blended data source. For the vast majority of use cases, this will be absolutely fine, especially when you consider that you can create and use as many blended data sources in a report as you like. So although it's technically a limitation, it won't actually be for most people. Okay, so what do you think of this new upgrade to Data Studio? I'd really like to hear what you have to say. So here is my question to you. Why not Data Studio? Why shouldn't I choose Google Data Studio over other tools like Tableau or Power BI? Let me know in the comments. I'll be fascinated to hear what you have to say. If you're watching this and thinking, what is Data Studio? Please check out this video here for a quick 15 minute crash course. And if you'd like to dive even deeper, why not check out my five hour online course? To keep up to date on all of the new Data Studio product releases, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon for another video. Until then, stay BI curious.